Hey, I wanted to check out this Decora doll and I wanted to share it with you guys. I don't know what a Decora doll is, but this vinyl case did catch my attention several times walking into Walmart. And I thought, gosh, that's a really cool vinyl case. It reminds me of the vinyl cases we used to have back in the 70s and probably the 80s. And for $9 on clearance, I thought, gosh, I got to check it out. Before I do that, I wanted to check out or show you some of the other things I got on clearance. Now, you want to check your clearance section. So this was only 10 bucks, uh, 10 bucks too. And it had this version of uh, Tora Lee. It looks a lot more like the original than the newer one because she doesn't have all the curves. So I'm wondering, are the ones in the plastic casket, whatever, and they're not, they don't have a handle, which was a missed opportunity in my personal opinion. I should have had a handle up here. Are the ones in these plastic containers like this, are they supposed to be more like the originals? Because she's not like the new ones, and I don't like the new ones. I do like that one, however. Also, I got the Down Syndrome Barbie for five bucks. I think she is absolutely a beautiful doll, and I, you know, I think that's just a great thing for them to do. I got this little doll for two bucks, and I got her older sister, I guess, uh, for like three fifty. I think is what it was. I was like, you know, I can probably use her head, pop her head, and put it on a doll's body like this, kind of like a brat doll. So that was another thing. Um, and I got a Mulan doll for like three dollars. Um, yeah, it's on one of those awful bodies, um, but I'm going to be getting some bodies in. Hopefully today, and I can do some re-bodying, re-popping, popping and swapping some heads uh, on some of those bodies that I got just for their bodies. It's the uh, WWE bodies. By the time you see this video, which will be on Friday, I'll probably already have them. And then I got these little bobblehead, whatever they are, for two fifty each. I thought I could probably use the heads. They're kind of cute, and they do have the ability to sit down. Uh, the hands move also. The arms move. So they're cute as is. And then, of course, I got some more of these fashions for the shorts mostly and for the shirt. Not so much for the shoes, but the shoes aren't that bad. And then I don't know if that's a skirt or a shirt. Let's find out right now our skirt or shirt. I was trying to say skirt or shorts. Let's find out together because I'm sure some of you are at Dollar Tree right now going, I wonder if this is a skirt or shorts. It's a skirt. It's a skirt. I was hoping it was shorts because I can always use more shorts, especially for dudes. All right. So what you probably came here for is to check out this. So let's check it out. Um, I do have some scissors so I can cut off some pieces that I don't want to like tear off, especially since it's hard plastic or it's a plastic ring around it. I'll see if it come right off. But there's a reason it's probably just attached to it tightly. There are some things right here. All right, so we got this peeled off almost. It goes into it. All right, on top there's a button. Let me see if I can go a little bit wider out for this. And then that little lip right there is right there. And this is some terrible. I don't know what to do with the lighting. I mean, I've had terrible lighting all day. This is a Decora, Decora store with doll. Okay. There's like a rainbow with three colors. So it's not really a rainbow. Anything less than seven colors, not a rainbow. Seven colors is how many a rainbow has. If you've ever seen a rainbow, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. It's got a checkerboard floor, which is really cool. Look at that. I love the pink and white checkerboard floor. The rainbow kind of goes with the color in the back or the so-called, I don't know if this is a chair or a trash can. I'm guessing it's a purse. I'm thinking that's a register. I thought it was a chair at first. There's lots of little doohickeys you got to open. Great. I hate this stuff. I'm not a fan of opening and opening and opening and opening. I feel like this is creating trash for what pleasure? What? Who has the pleasure of opening stuff like this all over the place? Okay. There is a obviously a blind bag doll in here and tons of like stickers that I don't think have to be stuck on here. I thought, well, the cash register obviously needs a sticker, but we'll see. Let's see what's in the packages before we reveal the doll the fashion figure. All right, so we got bag number one. I got a little bit in here eating, so he might be over here meowing in a minute. I don't know if this is a helmet or a backpack or what. I mean, it looks like a backpack, but all right. Honestly, I really just bought this for the bottom case, but if the doll's cool, that's cool. If not, then not. Okay, we got, obviously this is a doll stand. Static electricity is getting to me. I 
I zoomed out because I feel like I'm zoomed in. All right, and then All right, I guess this is the type of stand that grabs their head unless she's got a really skinny waist. So I'm guessing that grabs her on the neck. Um, inside of this, there's paint, crayons, and band-aids. I don't know. It's the sticker store, I suppose. Oh, I see what's so the cash register now. I see the stickers that need to go for it. All right, this must be some kind of weird dress. Oh, it's the Polly Pocket type dresses. Those are fine for Polly Pocket. I just don't want to have to, I like real cloth. Polly Pocket dresses are only adorable for Polly Pocket. Everything else, oh, there's the tear thing. I just don't, a comb. Mm -hmm. Right here. All this extra trash. Thanks for making me have to do a lot of extra trash. There's no reason for this. There's absolutely no reason. I don't know, I mean, to, the kids actually get into like, let's open it and open it, open it, open it, open stuff. I, I cannot imagine personally ever thinking that's a cool idea. All right, so coming out of the package, we got definitely we need to put the cash register together. That's the only thing I see that I have to do. All right, I know what you want to see. You want to see the stickers. Here's some stickers, some big ones. There's some little stickers that look like you would give them to like kids on the report cards or whatever. Like, you know, stickers that teachers used to give us those little stickers. I like the little skull and crossbow and hearts. That's kind of cute. Little skull. Oh, okay. There's a few on here I like. I like the planet, the bee, and the skull. Strawberry's pretty cool. Strawberry fields forever. All right, this is one thing I definitely like. Uh, it needs that, but otherwise this looks like some kind of weird chair. It's a pretty thick sticker, actually. Yeah, I probably put it too high, but I, I like to put them into the cracks. Break your mama's back. <sighs> Trying to get the sticker up. All right, so something else, $15.25. There's where it goes on that thing. And now the doll, the thing that we, uh, most people would buy for. Honestly, I bought it for the case, to be honest with you. But I hope the doll is cute. And um, I have a feeling she's not gonna be the for me, but no, oh, she's kinda cute. That mouth makes me look, I'm dumb. All right, she's got really soft, really really soft arms okay so her arms have a hinge joint that can make her go up this high and then 360 degrees she's got a swimsuit on thankfully because whenever you have a naked doll i don't really want it on screen um it appears her legs are a t-joint because it doesn't go to the side it doesn't splay it just it looks like it should splay though but it doesn't and her head's on a swivel the hair feels kind of soft. It's in a one, two, three, four, five, six colors. From pink through purple, almost like a, a rainbow, but missing one color and then missing red. Instead of red, they got pink. So, so we got the Polly Pocket dress we're gonna put on her. Let me get a little bit closer up to you to see her face. Let me zoom in on her. So her eyes are painted on. They're not um, like plastic or the pop-in eyes. Her mouth is not just painted. It actually is, like you can see the contour, it is actually open. She looks like one of those dolls you'd give her a baby bottle and put her to bed. And the hair is actually very soft. And it looks like her legs are a little bit on the bow-legged side. All right. They don't have a split completely down the back, so putting the dress on, it's gonna be kind of a challenge. And it is a Tarzan dress, which I hate. I'm not a big fan of Tarzan dresses. And what I mean by Tarzan dress is not like it's made out of cheetah skin or anything. I'm talking about how it's one arm's over the side and one arm's like bare, like the shoulders. I don't know. I've always been a friend, a friend, a fan of symmetry. I've been a friend of symmetry. Sufferance, like a tash. 
right, come on, get it on there. Her arm's really hard to get through there since it's so gummy. It's very soft. I mean, it's like I said, it's very, very soft. I got that thing trying to focus on something, the camera. Except I wasn't completely out of focus the whole time. I was trying to focus on some magical space in the middle of nowhere. I don't like this dress at all. I'm going to, ooh, you know what? I bet she'd wear those little dresses that, oh, you know what? I should have done. I'll do it in another video. I'll, I'll talk about, because I can still talk about those. I was going to do that and I forgot. Okay, so the shoes are left and right shoe oriented. So that's clearly the right shoe with socks that are rubbery. And therefore, by default, this would be left foot. See, they are left and right foot default. All right, so it's a cute doll. I hate the outfit. Um, I don't mind the shoes. And I'm guessing this is her stool. It, there's no really instructions that I see. Let's see. It shows on here that she's got a yellow and it's in the trash can position. So I'm going to assume it's a trash can. So I guess it's a trash can. And I suppose they want you to put stickers on it to go to look. It's a trash can, put stickers all over it. I do like the dollhouse though, slash carrying case. It's got a little handle on the top. So when you're done, you can stick everything back in here. And if you want to, like, I'm going to probably make like patio furniture out here or something instead. Like I don't like that cash register. It's okay. I kind of like this table. This table is kind of cute. So maybe it could be like a sitting out in the sun and like a bar kind of thing. And she's about the same size as some other dolls that I can go and get for the next thing I'm going to do. Because I'm going to talk about some wigs that I found over at the uh, Dollar Tree. So I'm going to put her and look, here's her stand. And see, it goes around her neck, which is kind of creepy if you think about it. Reaching around somebody's neck like that. So there's plenty of room in there for some more friends of hers. The snap case, you put it on top. Snap it. You got a little handle so you can carry it around and play with it wherever you go. So let me know if this is something you picked up. Did you pay $9? Did you pay less? Did you pay more? Do you think it was worth whatever price you did pay for it? Just curious. Let me know in the comments below. As I'm, my OCD is wanting to peel off this sticker. Are you done with OCD? Yeah, you know me. All right, let me go get it before. Um, oh, let's see. It's sticky on the back. I'm going to have to get some goo gone. Goo gone. Oh, goo gone. Oh, do you remember me? And I'll do it off camera. So, um. I'll do another video with the little dolls and we'll compare them then too.